Hello fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts, this is Not From This World and I want to welcome you back to yet another tutorial on Daz Studio. Now today I decided I wanted to show you a neat little trick that we can create in Daz. And this was inspired by one of my viewers from my last video where I made a Halloween scene. And so I want to say thank you to Ed London for the compliments on my last tutorial, but he did ask if I could add some fog to that scene. Now, fog is a very interesting feature, and if we look, we can find fog in Daz Studio. You can purchase it. And so if you go to the Daz store, you'll see that there are various fog props that you can add. So there's this uh, fast fog and atmospheric eye ray. There's various fogs that you can purchase. They're not that expensive and those work okay. I do have a um, set of fog props that I do use from time to time, but I wanted to show you something even easier and that is a way to make fog within Daz Studio itself. So you don't actually have to purchase anything. You don't have to spend any money. And we can make a really cool effect here using our environmental tab. So what I'm going to do is set up a scene that uh, is kind of spooky in its own right. Um, Halloween's over, but I do like sci-fi stuff. So we're going to make a sci-fi scene here with Milica. And so I've got Milica kind of walking down this path in a wooded area. And if I go to my perspective view, we can kind of see that um, she's on this road here and we've got kind of bushes all around. So what I want to do is I want to make this foggy. Now how we do that is actually very simple. That doesn't involve any type of purchase. So I am going to go to my render settings and within my render settings, if you look in the menu, you're going to see hopefully this tab that says environment. Now I've noticed that sometimes when I open up my Daz Studio, I do not have this. It's missing. And at first I'm clicking all over. I'm trying to go to different menus like preferences. I tried to do show hidden properties. I tried to um, select things, select different menus, trying to find this environment. Uh, kind of weird that it's not there sometimes. If you run across this and your environmental tab is not there, what I've noticed is if we just run a render and we just kind of render up the picture that we have, amazingly, that tab just appears. And I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe if you know, you can tell me why this uh, is hidden at first. But I noticed I have to run a render to get this tab to show up. So we can kind of see I've got this um, scene and it's just going to render here. We don't really care about this render, but if you do not have that environmental tab, just run a render and it pops up. You can just kind of cancel it immediately and you'll notice that the environment tab shows up in our render settings. And we also get this environment options over here in our scene tab. So see, I can click on that and also get these different environmental tabs. So what's really cool is under the environment, and honestly, it doesn't matter. You can do it if you feel more comfortable in the scene tab, just click the environment options. You can scroll down and you can also just go to your render settings, but click on the environment tab and open it up. And you're gonna notice that there's fog. Now, um, we have two kinds of fog. We have matte fog, and we have atmospheric ground fog. Uh, I'll show you both here. So if I select matte fog first, I can turn this matte fog on. And if you notice the matte fog 
is going to have a visibility uh, default at 10,000. Now, this matte fog is going to give us a foggy view throughout the entire scene. And so if I select it, I'm going to have to go to iRay to actually see anything. So I'm going to go to iRay. I apologize, my computer starts uh, making noise, the fan kicks on, but um, hopefully you'll still be able to hear me through this tutorial as my fan runs because we're going to keep it kind of in iRay as we go. But if you notice when it starts to render here in the iRay view, you're not really going to see a whole lot of difference. However, um, I'm going to take this matte fog visibility and if I drop it down, let's say to about 3000, we're going to start getting a fog effect. But this fog effect is going to occur throughout the entire scene. So if I go to one of my cameras, we're going to see that the fog is kind of everywhere. And if I go lower, the fog will get thicker. So if I drop it down to, uh, well, it's at 642 now, you're going to see that we have quite a bit of total fog, like the entire area is rather foggy. I can also change the tint. Uh, brightness tint is defaulted at white, but I can also add different colors to this. And you can see this is going to change that fog color to whatever color that we want. So this is a pretty cool little asset and uh, you don't really have to do anything within Daz Studio except enable this matte fog. So that is our first fog option. The second option is this atmospheric ground fog. So with the atmospheric ground fog, if I select it, I'm going to turn it on. And once our atmospheric ground fog is selected, what we can do is we can make a layer of fog on the ground. And I think this is kind of what um, Ed London wanted in the other video with my jack-o'-lanterns and Milica being a kitty cat. So you can create this within your scene using this atmospheric ground fog. So what we're going to do is um, we have several choices. The ground fog albedo is going to change the color of our fog, just like we did with the matte fog. To make the ground fog higher, we're going to use this ground fog decay height and see I can raise the fog higher up off the ground. So you can see now I've got some fog a little bit higher up. If I jump this up to like 500, which is a little further out, and you can see that now Milica is in this very foggy situation. There's fog all over the ground. We can change the density of this fog with our ground fog den uh, density start scale. So see, if I knock this down to, let's say, 0.25, because the default's at 1, I'm going to get some thinner fog. So this is pretty cool. You can mess with this and get some really pretty cool results. And it doesn't take hardly any effort to get fog into your scenes. Um, some other things that we can do, uh, just to show you this ground fog albedo. See, if I wanted to make the fog a different color like green... That's what the albedo does. And you can see that the fog is now kind of a green color. And the more it renders, the uh, more green it's going to be as the picture gets better. But you kind of get the idea. So you can play around. We can make some cool sci-fi scenes. You can change the color of your fog, make it uh, green or purple or a variety of different colors depending on what you want to do and uh, we get this really cool effect. So play around with the fog. Another kind of cool option, I'm gonna just put this back to this gray color, kind of a natural fog, 
is this bottom is called ground fog anostropy and this is going to also uh, vary the fog. If we drop this down, it's defaulted at zero. But if we drop this anostropy down to, let's say, a, a negative 70 or negative 80, we're going to um, change the thickness of the fog. If we jump it up to, let's say, 70, we're going to... Uh, kind of change the uh, density of the fog as well. So uh, this is a pretty cool little asset that we just have built into Daz Studio. Okay, so I have set up a scene where Milica is kind of in peril here. There is a alien creature that's kind of stalking her. So I've got the alien creature down on the ground. He wants to grab her. She is figuring it out and seeing this creature. So I have some different camera angles. Let's check them out. So I've got perhaps a camera angle like this. And then we've got our traditional camera angle here that um, shows the creature. And then on this one, let's see if we can get a good camera angle, maybe with uh, the creature. We're looking down on the creature and Milica. So I think I want to move our creature back just a hair so we can see it a little bit better. And he's got a tongue. So let's kind of pose this tongue like it's... Okay, just kind of a fun little scene. But what's cool about this is I have our fog added into the scene. So if I go back to that picture here, I can kind of open this up and we're gonna see our fog when we go to NVIDIA iRay. All right, not too bad. I might um, manipulate this fog a little bit. We could make it a little bit thicker and maybe a, just a tad lower so it's kind of more on the ground. Let's make it thicker up to like 0.8 in thickness. And then let's drop it down just a hair, uh, perhaps maybe to 250. All right. I think I like that. I need to add a background. So I'm gonna to go to environment. We're gonna just add a backdrop to the back just in case we don't wanna have a blank background. So I'm gonna just open up the background. I'm gonna to go to my texture folder and uh, we'll just choose like a, a blue background. And let's open this up, see what it looks like. I think I might still want that fog a little darker. Let's go all the way to one. See the darkness of the, or the thickness of the fog, I should say. All right, I kind of like this. I'm going to get out of iRay. All right, I'm going to, I like this. I'm going to save the scene. We're going to save it as Milica Fog. Always save your scene before you render. And then I'm going to check my other cameras. I've got this default camera, which is her freaking out. That's cool. I've got the one that I just showed with uh, the creature in Milica. And then I've got this scene. Then I've got this camera that kind of shows more of the creature. So I like that. I'm going to save it one more time. Go to my render queue and we're going to render all three of these pictures and then uh, see what they look like. So let's go to render queue. Got to get rid of my previous queue that I entered. Go to add current all visible cameras 
All right, let's render this, see what these look like. Okay, everybody, so I didn't like this last render, so I went ahead and stopped it, but I really like this second one, and so using the fog options really can enhance your renders. So I hope this helped you, and give me a like subscribe and please comment. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. And if you have any other ideas, let me know. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.